Smoking in my everybody sing along. Rebel, rebel, beat the bitch. Rebel, rebel, party, party, sex, sex, sex. The wicked, the violent, blah, blah, blah. Could you love me, tell me, sad, lonely, stupid, stupid, smoking in. Everybody's smoking in. Okay, so this is the new shit. Uh, this is another episode of my horror life. Uh, so the last one I talked about my future horror, and uh, I'm still here. It's just I'm on a lower level now. Um, kind of taking a step back. Still getting my perks, still involved with the movies that I'm involved with. But um, I've taken a step back as far as a lot of my horror groups. I passed along some of my horror groups, and uh, but the, the movies I'm still involved with them here. With that said, I uh, did a uh, Facebook Live video the other day. We're talking about horror movies, and I want to give a shout out to you. You'll know who you are. Uh, someone let me use their uh, Netflix account, so uh, in honor of being on Netflix in the first movie that I said the first movie that pops up in the horror section I'm gonna watch it whether I've seen it before or not and to my surprise I got to see for the first time and yes people are gonna be shocked I got to watch Terrifier for the first time so um, wow what I thought about Terrifier <laughs> where, where do I start uh, David Howard Thornton you scared the fucking bejesus out of me. Um, Art the Clown is... This this character could be a, a, a definite franchise. This character could definitely be a franchise. I already know there's a sequel coming out, and uh, I'm excited because uh, my girl Felicia Rose is in it. So I uh, uh, can't wait to see Felicia and her encounters with Art the Clown. So... Uh, but Terrify was wow, like that character I will literally say was the first character that has scared me in yes. Um just how he goes about his you know, in, in the diner scene when he's kinda like messing with that one girl, then giving her like the the smiley faces and the and just it it was it was an eeriness to him. Right from the beginning, even if he didn't know the movie was about him. Just the eeriness that he put up in that scene, and uh, some of the kills are the most brutal I've seen in a long time. I, I actually had one of those oh my god moments with the scene with the girl upside down, her legs like that. I, uh, I, I, I literally every, people who've seen the movie know what scene I'm talking about. I literally was speechless for about 15 minutes. I was just like, for 15 minutes. I was still watching the movie, but I was trying to just comprehend what I just saw. <laughs> and um, also because of the, the the Netflix account, I finally, uh, I'm, 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 everybody who knows me knows I'm not big on horror. Um, series like like TV series but I, I did have to check out I started right from the beginning episode one season one of uh, Bates Motel and I, I might start watching this uh, I, I now that I got the account to watch um, I might start watching this I know it's over now uh, but uh, I've always been a big uh, Norman Bates guy so uh, I love the Seiko series. I love I love all the Mimi Four. Uh, four sometimes is referred to as the uh, evil stepchild, but but I love one, two. I love uh, this, the original two, three, four, and uh, I might actually start watching this one. So well, well, I'll have I'll I can't judge a book by the first episode, but I I give the first episode a solid nine. Uh, it was uh, intriguing. It had good character development. Um, a great first story, 
uh, with the uh, the old owner, well, the old owner's uh, son, trying to reclaim the uh, Bates property for his own, and the scene with uh, him attacking uh, Norma Bates, and so I, 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 I might be intrigued to watch this. So, but. Yeah, you know I me. Mean? I'm more of a movie guy because it's over. It's it's over between an hour and a half and two hours. <laughs> I, I've never been good on horror movies. That I have to wait till next week. So we'll, we'll see. Um, also, um, let's see what else I wanted to mention today. Oh, I, I have been doing like I mentioned earlier. I have been doing a lot of more Facebook lives. So that's uh, if you're. If you're ever online and you see me, come on, come on and join me because I, I love I love talking horror. I love talking pretty much anything except for politics. I'm not a po politics guy, so. Um, and um, also, the groups that I have been keeping, like my main groups, I call them, my Friday the Thirteenth alumni, my Never Say Never Never Sleep Again. Um, it's the Sars family and Halloween returning to Haddonfield. Those those groups are not going anywhere. Um, I am in the process of looking for admins for other groups. So if you're watching this and you're interested, uh, look me up on Facebook or if you uh, probably are on Facebook if you're watching this because I share a lot of this on Facebook. Uh, message me and uh, I'll let you know what groups are up. And uh, also um, I. I know there's a big trend going on with uh, YouTube channels and um, YouTube channels doing like Patreon and merchandise and um, I'm not I'm not like that. The channel will always be you, know, you watch it. I, I, I show you what I'm gonna be showing you. No, there's no special perks for anybody. There's no special privileges. And I'm not. Please don't think I'm dissing those channels. I'm just a small little channel here. If I get a lot bigger, you know, things might change, but uh, I try to plan to stay the way I am, stay grounded. Um, I mean, even like when I was, when I had my little fame back in March, I had people asking for autographs. I had one guy wanted to buy the jacket I was wearing, and and even like this, like what I'm wearing right now is what, what I, the same shirt I have on in my internet movie database shirt. This is... The Levi shirt. I'm doing some kind of pose like this. Um, but this this channel will always be grounded. Now, if I get into like a billion and I can't keep track of everybody, you know, uh, which I don't think I'll ever get that high. I'm at 99 subscribers right now. I hit 100, and I was so proud of myself. But eight years of 100 subscribers is nothing. And then I, apparently I lost one. So, uh, but 99 subscribers, I'm, I'm happy to have each and every one of you 99. I love you guys. And uh, what else was I going to talk about? Oh, let me show you this. Do I have, yeah, I have the upside down. Okay. There we go. Better. There we go. <laughs> I know it's not an official mask because it has, you know, it has the holes here. But I could wear a mask under it. I mean, it'd be hard to breathe, but. So I want to give a big shout out to Jason Bradford. I don't know why I'm yawning already. I slept most of the day. Uh, also, uh, on a personal level, I want to thank all you guys for the outpouring of support from my mom. Um, I posted on my Facebook recently about her, the update on her being rushed to the hospital, and um, uh, she was on 100% oxygen. Um, she was on a bypass. She is now off the bypass, bypass machine, so that's better. Her, her vitals are slightly improving. Uh, she opened her eyes today for the first time, and so um, not out of the woods yet, but you know, 
it, the power of prayer is helping us. So I want to thank you guys. Um, and for those who don't who don't pray, uh, uh, thank you for the thoughts and wishes. And um, she's definitely feeling all the all the love. So I want to thank you guys for that because you know uh, I lost my dad back in um, the end of November. Yeah. And um, I still haven't fully recovered from that. Um, and, you know, I had to deal with that during Christmas and um, having our first Christmas without my dad. And, and his birthday just passed in July, so it's been um, it's been a learning curve for sure. So I don't think I can handle another loss of a parent. So, uh, not right now. I mean, fate ends up catching up with all of us, yes. But um, right now, I, I, I couldn't handle it. So, thank you guys for the bottom of my heart. Thank you for the power of prayer and power of thoughts and wishes and hearts and candles and everything that people have been sending. It's, it's, it's quite overwhelming. And... Uh, my final thought today is uh, my thoughts on the horror community have pretty much remained the same since my last video. I love the the ones that I'm still in contact with. I love you guys. The ones that um, have done the community wrong. Fate. That's all I'm going to say. Much love to you guys, and uh, I'll see you on my next video. For another, thank you for another watching for another episode of my horror life, and much love to you guys.